What if there's a world behind the geometrical structure of the fabric of existence? A world beyond time. A world that can be uncovered using gematria. What if I told you I found a method? A method to retrieve messages from beyond time and place, interdimensional telegrams, sent from outside of time to bring us to the edge of time. This show is powered by dreams, visions, and inquiry of viewers. Remember to keep sending me your ascension codes. You are watching the Berean Calling Channel, and I'm your host. Together, we'll explore the unexplored. Hi guys, I've got a new Ascension message. Before we get into the message, I want to start off by thanking my new subscribers. Thanks a lot for subscribing, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to head over to the Berean Calling landing page, hit the big red subscribe button, and turn on your notifications to be notified whenever I post a new video in the future. For those that are new, on this channel we translate Ascension codes using Gematria. If you want to see how that works out, I invite you to stick around. The code for this first episode, episode 01, was sent in by the all that is. And the code is truth of responsibility. Truth of responsibility. You guys, you guys voted for this code to be translated next. If you want to help out, if you want to help out decide which code we're going to do the next episode, please remember to visit the Borean Calling Community tab so you can uh, help vote, help vote for the next episode. Without any further ado, let's just get into it. Um, the All That Is sent us a backstory. I'll just, uh, I'll just get into that right now. It goes a little something like this. After some hours of contemplation and synchronicities, I went into meditation and within a few minutes, an Indian boy appeared in my vision and upon making eye contact, my heart burst open where I became immersed in a sea of bliss, a dissolution of the body and knowing that I am not to participate in the old paradigm and that I'm here to bring in the new paradigm. I would love to see what the Gematria pulls out of the phrase truth of responsibility. So, and the phrase truth of responsibility, that's the phrase that the all that is got out of his meditation and contemplation. Of course, I could extract a message from it and Without any further ado, let's just get into that right now. True prophet of Jeshua, the self-begotten living son. I am communicating with Lord God. Equal distant letter sequence. Living scripture of life. I'm going to stop here because the equal, de letter, uh, equal distant letter sequence is just another way to, to translate uh, the Bible code. Yeah? And it is not exactly the same as Gematria but it has uh, correlations. It has correlations. Yeah? So, the true prophet of Jeshua, the self-begotten living son, I am communicating with Lord God, equal distant letter sequence, living scripture of life, a rare and valuable art form, Holy Spirit, tongue on fire, excellent teacher in heaven, seven of wands and six of wands. So, this bit, this first bit, uh, it could be it could be referring to the all that is, but it could also be referring to myself because it's about it's about a teacher and um, it says in heaven, but as we all know, you know the the kingdom is within us. So it's it's trying to say here um, a teacher uh, in the kingdom. So uh, someone that teaches uh, how to find the kingdom, you know, and. I, I, I don't know the all that is, but he could be a good teacher. I, I'm not sure, but it could be about him. could be about me. could be about one of you, one of you guys. But I took it a little bit personal because it also has seven of wands and six of wands in it. The meaning, the meaning of seven of wands is, in my opinion, uh, being a chameleon uh, and being a teacher 
and a public speaker. And the meaning of six of wands, uh, also, this is also my opinion, <laughs> because you could go a lot of ways with that. But if you research it, in my, in my opinion, it looks like the, the combination of those two is a successful teacher. So a successful uh, teacher and who is gaining public rec recognition. And that's a little bit um, what's going on for me right now. Because it's my my channel is go is 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 you know, I'm getting a, a lot of subscribers every day, and I'm so I'm so happy about that, and I feel um, I feel a little I feel blessed, and also uh, it it gives me a sense of victory, you know, a sense of victory because um, my words are not falling upon deaf ears, and that's that's how I deciphered it. But but as we all know, we have a lot of tarot readers. Uh, you know, watching watching these videos. So if you have another, if you have another meaning for the six, of, seven of wands, or you just want to <laughs> agree, let me know in the comments. Let's just continue. Holy goddess of the universe, the holy soul of Mary Magdalene, the one who is Thalit. I'm just going to stop <laughs> because Thalit, Thalit is Aeon, the Aeon Thalit is just another name. It's just another name for Sophia or Mary Magdalene, or Mother Earth, or one of the many names, the Angel of the Abyss, uh, the Holy Spirit, yeah, our subconscious mind. Let's just continue. The Holy Blood and the Holy Grail, just another, another title, <laughs> the Holy Blood and the Holy Grail, Divine Sophia of the Trinity, Spirit of Wisdom and Insight. She has the power to heal people. Jesus Christ great affection. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here because I think what we need to understand is when it's talking about the love between Jesus and Sophia, uh, it's, it's talking about our love and our connection with our subconscious. And you may not feel it right now. You may not feel it right now, but that's the thing that everybody, everyone is searching for. And we all just need to remember that. Yeah. And we are all looking outwardly for for that love but <laughs> it is within us yeah so learning to love yourself i'm just gonna quote <laughs> i'm just gonna quote whitney houston here learning you to love yourself it is the greatest it is the greatest love of all so jesus christ great affection stop dragging my heart around heartbeat of sophia mother earth rest your love on me a while rest your love on me well let's just continue God has noticed your higher self. Are you tired of being disrespected? Stay awake. Turn, so stay, telling us to stay woke, stay woke, stay awake. Turn hate into love. You will know the truth. Complete fractal understanding. And that's a lot. I'm going to stop here for a while, guys. So, <laughs> so what, it, what it's promising us here, what it's promising us here is not we will, that we will be completely completely informed you know completely informed and i don't i don't know if if you guys know what that entails exactly you know it means that you will be aware of everything so all the realities and all of the uh, possibilities so we will be able we will be able to view the world from outside outside of time complete fractal understanding he first, he first wants to clean house. He first wants to clean house. Are you worth your salt? So, <laughs> so <laughs> you will know the truth. I'm just going to go in there again. You will know the truth. Complete fractal understanding. He first wants to clean house. Are you worth your salt? You will resonate with God. He who laughs, who, he who laughs last. Let's just continue. Now is the end days for Satan. Self-preservation society. So I'm just going to stop there because it's talking about the service to self. So the, the minions of Satan are trying to uh, change, are trying to change our world into a service to self, a service to self world. So if you're, if you're part of Christ's body, yeah, then you will do everything for the benefit of all, you know? And if you're, part of satan's body yeah you do everything for self-preservation only so service to self yeah so self-preservation society 
the astrological influences of the star Adhavera. So, and the star Adhavera, it's in the mains of the Leo constellation, and um, it's connected with suicide poison, corrosive acids, liquid explosives, liquid fire, lying, stealing, and crime. And this star has been called Al Serpa, the funeral pyre. So, this is nuts, guys, because I don't, today, today was the funeral service of George Bush Sr. And this is, this is just crazy. I'm just going to continue uh, reading a bit from um, uh, Star Astrology from Adafira. In mundane astrology, Leo constellation is associated with royal events, especially the ascension or death of kings and queens, the election or death of heads of states, assassinations, uprisings, and massacres. Currency and the stock exchange, the Vatican and the European Union. So this is crazy because there's a lot, lot, there's a lot here that that just talks about what's going, what went on, what's going on today. Because we have we have riots in the European Union, riots in the European Union, you know, and of course George Bush Senior at a funeral service. And and the the the, the, the most the, the nicest thing about this, uh, the nicest thing about this is that you guys you guys chose you guys chose this code for me to translate, and now you can see, doesn't matter actually which one I translate, it'll have the same effect. It'll it'll be current. It'll be current. So let's just continue. Drinking the life force of another, child abuse causes destruction. So it's talking about this the. The minions of Satan, eh, the, the ones, uh, the ones uh, wanting to, to create the self-preservation society. Yeah? Uh, child abuse causes destruction. So, and ch- to endanger the bride of God is deadly. I'm just going to stop there a bit. Because the bride of God, of course, it's uh, the bride of Jesus. And that's Mary Magdalene. And that's Sophia. So that's our subconscious mind. And... Now I can explain uh, why, um, why these values are, you know, uh, together. Child abuse causes destruction. To endanger the bride of God is deadly. Because as I explained before, we are all, our subconscious, our subconscious mind is, con- is connected. We have one subconscious mind. And if you, kill, if you kill us, then you are endangering the bride, you know. You are endangering the bride of God. So to endanger the bride of God is deadly. He who serves two masters, and then it goes into, <laughs> this is the first time I found a, a Dutch value in there, but it says, he who serves two masters, it is maar één kracht en aanwezigheid. So that means, he who serves two masters, there is only one power and presence. Uh, when they die, they have to face him. You, you, can, <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. All the altars have been crumbled. Let's just, uh, let's just continue. Home very soon when the blue Kachina dances. I'm, get- <laughs> I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to stop here a bit. In the previous episode, we, we uh, had a value talking about the Hopi, Hopi prophecy. And the Hopi prophecy was mentioning the blue Kachina. And now in this episode, it's talking about the blue Kachina. And um, I'm just going to... Read, read for you what the Hopi, Pro- Hopi prophecy says. An ancient Ho- Hopi Indian prophecy states, when the blue star Kashina makes its appearance in the heavens, the fifth world will emerge. So, and <laughs> I read that bit in the previous episode because we had a value about the Hopi prophecy. And now in the next episode, the ones that you chose, yeah, it's talking, <laughs> it's talking about when the blue Kachina dances. So it's, it's telling us when the blue Kachina dances, that, that is when the fifth world will emerge. So let's just continue. Mastering the seven chakras, the seven spirits of God, the seven hermetic principles. So the, the seven hermetic principles, the seven, I'm just going to state the seven hermetic principles. Uh, the first is the prin- principle of me- mentalism, the principle of mentalism. So everything is mind. Second is the principle of correspondence. The third is the principle of vibration. The fourth is the principle of polarity. And the fifth is the principle of rhythm. And 
Sixth is the principle of casuality. And the seventh is the principle of gender. So if you, if you haven't heard about this, I, I urge you, I urge you to research this because it's pretty important. Uh, I'll just leave a link. I'll just leave a link in this, in the description where you can uh, read through an article explaining the seven hermetic principles. Let's just, uh, let's just continue. Holy children of the apocalypse, Christ is on earth right now. The arrival of Jeshua is upon all. So I'm going to stop right away because I think I have to explain. So when it's talking about Christ, being on earth is talking about humanity. So it's talking about all of us, you know, and we are all the Christ. And we only need, we only need to come to that unity consciousness. Yeah. So, and that coming to the unity consciousness is the, the arrival of Yeshua upon all. Yeah. So holy, kil hol holy children, holy children of the holy children of the apocalypse, Christ is on earth right now. The arrival of Yeshua is upon all. You are the light of the world. None believe he is Jesus Christ. So it's talking about nobody believes that they are Jesus Christ. Because it's just uh, other than that, that Jesus uh, uh, states this in, 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 in the New Testament himself, which, you know, I think it's talking about us from the bat, but if, if you don't believe that, if you don't believe that, then you have to believe his words. And he's saying that he's us, you know, so, and <laughs> people, it's, it's, people need to start believing that. And nobody believes that it's, it's knowing that we are all the Christ and also knowing that you're, you are the Christ. Yeah, that's, that's the unity consciousness. None believe that he, none believe he is Jesus Christ. I know your hearts and minds make friends with your past and my people shall never be ashamed. Be not ashamed of your parents, the holy family that made people, the ancient builders of reality. It's okay, baby. I still love you. You were always on my mind you were always on my mind i love you all i love you all unconditional yeah yeah this is, <laughs> this is the crazy 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 message thanks a lot thanks a lot for sending this in the all that is if you want to help out pick the next code for for the next episode please remember to visit my community tab and enter the poll. If you want your Essential Code translated, remember to send it to my email address, bereancalling at gmail.com. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be kept up to date to my messages in the future. Let me know. Let me know what you think of this in the comments, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.